Well, today is a bit different than yesterday. No wind. Today's gonna be between five and 10 mile an hour wind. Yesterday was like 45. It was like 45 to 50. That's literally what it was. That's why we were hunting with a rifle yesterday because with the bow, probably would not have been, it wouldn't have, it would have been easy to stalk on them, but you know, getting that right shot, wind gust, it wouldn't have been right. That's why we went hunting with a rifle yesterday. Now I'm thinking, you know what? Today could be the day with a bow. One of our last days here. I really would like to find a Hemsbach. <sighs> if you guys have not watched the latest videos, you guys need to go back and watch them. This entire time we've been hunting here in Africa, myself and Rackley, he'll be linked to the very top of the description. We've been flip-flopping days of filming today. Today could be the day that we might need to bring the bow back out. Look at that thing. Is that a hummingbird? Wow, that's pretty cool. Did you guys see that bird's beak? It was like really curved, sucking inside of that uh, flower. If you guys have not been to Africa, you guys need to contemplate coming here. It's got a lot of cool things. The guy I'm with, his name is Patrick. Very, very trustworthy. It's, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to, to realize if, if the people down here are going to be trustworthy because you got to send them money prior to coming. Are they going to steal it? Are they like this guy? 100%. He was recommended me. He was recommended to me. Phenomenal guy. He's been doing it for 30 years. Great dude. Oh. I'll also link his stuff down there. You guys can shoot him over an email if you'd like. No, it'll get warm today. Be honest about these boots. They're kind of comfortable, but listen to this. Listen to that. They've got to be one of the loudest boots I've ever bought in my entire life. I probably will not be using these during elk season. I wonder, do you think it's the boots? It's got to be the boots. I know, I have a pair of Solomons at the house that clearly don't make any squeaky noise. I'm pretty sure these ones make squeaky noises because of this. They've got like metal right here and they just, you just twist them. That's all you do. Maybe I just got a defective pair, but they're extremely loud. I just want everybody to know how much of a man you are. Do you see this? That is why your wife married you right there. Do you see that? You've got stuff uh, dangling. All, well, not really dangling. It's no. really just kind of stuck. It's still red. It's still really red. I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to stick. I'm going to go ahead and stick this camera just on the floor. Just so you guys have somewhat of an idea of what I'm talking about. Like, listen to this. That is loud. And it's only the left boot and it is so loud. Just imagine you have this perfectly calm, just nothing's moving. Animals are just kind of eating. You're trying to like Oh man, what should we do? Fire sticks it is. It's gonna be a fire stick kind of day. Okay, first first little pit stop of the day. We have a couple hems bucks around a thousand yards away. We just pulled out the spotting scope to see if there's something that we should pursue on foot or not. But if you guys can tell, the way that we hunt here in Africa is it's this thick. Nick, you see how thick it is? You have to like drive around, get on top of the hills, glass, find the animals, and then put the stock on them. And hopefully they're still in that same little area that you just saw them. Usually it's like a 20 minute little stock. Like right now I don't even see him. It gets so thick. Rack was going to be working the camera today. He's got the big lens out. I mean, they got his pin from almost a thousand yards away, Rackley. You see that? What do you think? That's a good bull. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're just going to... He's just gonna let, let the tractor also have a look. Um, so we're just gonna have a look and then we'll sort of work on a plan to get closer. But uh, yeah, good thing is he's there, so we just have to get close to him. I never asked this, but why do you guys use trackers? It's mostly, you know, when, when we drive around just to help spot animals and then also you know, they do some of the skinning. So I know they do the skinning. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Skinning. and then. Yeah, um, it's completely yeah. different. So, like in the States, we, we generally like just track blood as most people do know that but these guys are so good they can tell that like when a hoof hits if it's been an animal that's been wounded because apparently they their hooves do this when they've been wounded i don't know they were explaining to me i was like wow you guys have been doing this way too long and know a lot more than i know but it's also a very good way for them to to kind of give uh people jobs because down here in south africa they have a 40 percent unemployment rate so it's a good way for them to also give people jobs it's kind of cool. Another thing I think about with this meat that we are hunting, hopefully we get to put something down today. They feed people that don't have jobs. It's 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 like a big cycle down here in South Africa. If you've never been here and you don't have never experienced it, you need to. I promise you. We saw two bulls yesterday. Uh, you see that little valley going up yeah. there, right on top there. I'm yeah, seeing some down here. Yeah. I'm seeing some on this hill on this side on the back. Yeah. So the amount of animals here is just insane. 
All right, so as you guys can tell, we literally have got a, we're on the second highest point out here right now. We've spotted some oryx. Oryx. We're on the second highest point right now. We've spotted some gensbuck, some kudu, and some blessed buck about a thousand yards away. We're gonna go up over the hills to plan. We're gonna come back down with the wind in our favor, of course, and go on this back side of them and kind of just chill out and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can, they'll just continue to graze because right now they're grazing this way. Plan, plan one. Stock number one of the day. Well, we have done one, I want to say one and a half stalks. Yeah. One didn't work out completely. The other one, we just kind of were behind them. So now we're literally driving on a ridge line. We spotted another hen's buck down to the valley. We know there's another three on the back side of this ridge right here. So it's kind of like we're just going to go up here and park, get out, look around with some binos, and probably put a stalk on another one, hopefully. Is it mature enough? Yeah, the one, you see one, the one on the rock. See the moving, right? Yeah. yeah. It's connected. Kind of, it's easy now. It's clear now. It's the middle one. Yeah, middle one. Yeah. Is it moving? Yeah, it's moving. Yes. Ah. I'll stop just now. It stopped. It's gonna stop. Almost going into it behind the other one. Over the fucking top again. All right. <sighs> so we were just up on top of that hill right there. Took a shot at 271 and shot over the top of him, which... He thinks the scope may have been bumped yesterday, I don't know. I mean, it went over, like over, over. Like, I was aiming, he said the gun's on at 200, so I brought it up to about center of the animal, still above the vitals just like a little bit, just for a little bit of holdover for distance. And we went, I mean, dude, we had him in feet, right? I mean, it was feet, mm -hmm. right? I haven't, I haven't really seen the footage very good. It kind of sucks, like two, two and a half hours of stalking it, get a shot and <laughs> all good. Take a breather, go grab some water, some food, and try it again. We were on our way back to the lodge. It's literally lunchtime to go eat some lunch. Right through the trees, we see like the top of an oryx. Well, they keep calling oryx, it's a gym bug. Actually, it's the same family, right? Exactly.
Okay, so while we go find this Gimsbach, I'm going to go ahead and rewind to about a 30 minutes ago when I was trying to stalk an Impala with a bow. Okay, as you guys can tell, I failed the Impala stock, but um, that's fine. This is after lunch, clearly. I'm getting flashbacks of Colorado currently with Rackley. These things like hills. I was just thinking about how we're gonna get it off. With a lot of men, a lot of eager he's not people. He's not small. We were down there on that hill. It was kind of like 270 or so, like this shot. God, he sounds forever away. What's he saying? Where's he at? Do you see blood? Oh, there it is. Holy shit. Yo! He's down a game spocky on her mate! He's down a game spocky on her mate now by 20 meter! Damn spock. He's, he's not standing there. It's bedded down. He's not standing there. Look at those spots. These things are really dangerous. These are all really sharp points. And the brush is really thick, so. We don't have a shot right now. Got him. Yeah, got him. That is a tough son of a. <laughs> is there something wrong with these African animals where they just. Uh, they're just super tough. They just don't give up. It says it's still sitting with the tape up, so I will. <laughs> I'll keep it when we get there. Okay. Bring out the elephant gun. <laughs> He's still moving. Just let him rest. That was the strongest African animal I've ever hunted, ever. He's like a goat. I mean, we shot him first, way up there. So the first shot, was actually a liver shot. It was like, he, he, you, want, you want to show him with your hand real quick? He was just showing me. Right about there. So there you go. And then the lungs were how much more? It was like this much? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking like that much missed the lungs. But the second shot was right in the, sh right, so here in Africa, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, like in America, our heart and everything else is pretty much right behind, how do I want to put this right? The little weird crease elbow the thing. The crease behind the, the shoulder. crease behind the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Here in Africa, their stuff is literally on the shoulder. You have to penetrate through the shoulder to hit the heart and everything else. And then you have, of course, the lungs are like right up here. But this thing is a powerful, powerful son of a gun. I mean, all the way on top of that hill. This is literally where we took the shot was over here, right on top of this hill. And he ran, we went up back around and pushed him down and then finally got the last final shot. I mean, if he would have sat here like in America, we, he would have been done, but he would have just sat there all night. How long do you think he would have survived that shot, that liver shot? Uh, I would guess it was probably went through the night when it gets cold. Really? You know, you'll bed down and then die because obviously there's lots of bacteria, yeah. you know, it will hit parts of the stomach and the liver. So it will bleed and there'll be some bacteria and stuff and that really burns, you know, in inside the stomach. So, and then usually they bed down and they die through the night. So as soon as it gets cold, they... Done? Yeah, yeah. 
This is Mickey Abbey. This is like this. This was the hardest hunt we've had in Africa so far. I don't know why. This son of a gun was hard. I don't know why. <laughs> this is ah oh, very relieving. Especially at the very end of the day. It took us all day just to get this one. All day for just for this one animal. So when I originally came to Africa and told Rackley you had to come, I said there was two animals I really would like to hunt. Red Leshway, which we got in the other video, which was the other day, and a Jensbach. Those were the two main animals I really, really, really wanted to go hunt. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I've, <laughs> I've been saying this. If you've not thought about coming to Africa and hunting these animals, you need This son of a gun is... I mean, it's beautiful. They taste amazing. You get to eat the meat you eat. You get to eat the animals you harvest. You get to feed a whole bunch of people, like a ton of people. All the workers here, all the people that are the surrounding villages. You get to feed them off these animals. Of course, we eat them as well while we're here. And then you get to take home a memory, like an amazing memory like this. So, you know what's kind of crazy? is so how hard these things are to see when they're up in the trees. Even though they got a white face, white legs, these giant horns, when they're up on the side of the hills, they blend They blend in so well. The only thing that kind of gives them away is their face. When they move around, that sunlight hits them, that's it. If they just don't move one bit, you're not gonna see a thing. That's good, thank you, Rackley. I appreciate you. Make sure to follow Rackley. He'll be linked at the very top of the description. I do love him. Hey, what's going on? No, nothing. Same shit. <laughs> Right. We are hot yeah, rolling. Hot and ready, hot and ready, hot and ready. We're at the skinning shed. That is right, that's what this is called. Looks like Ryan got himself a red leshway while we're out hunting today. Gens box gonna get unloaded. I wanted to show you guys inside the meat freezer, but I'm pretty positive. I know. <laughs> no. I can't. Rackley says, no, no, you cannot show him. We have, there's literally a giant meat freezer in there. And I would say, how many thousands of pounds of meat's dangling right now? Oof. Thousands. Yeah, Thou it's in the thousands. Thousands of pounds of meat in there right now. It's getting dangled, ready to get processed. I'm super check. Hey, hope you guys have enjoyed this Africa series. I have no idea if we're going to be hunting tomorrow. I don't really know. It's gonna. I'm going to leave it up to Rackley. I'm going to put him on a pedestal because today took so long. I'm going to put him up and be like, Rackley, do you want to hunt? Do you want to hunt, buddy? So make sure to check out Rackley. He'll be linked at the very top of the description. Don't miss out on his hunts. I got something in my mouth right there. Anyway, you guys know the deal. I'm just going to I'm gonna let this son of a gun just roll because I don't know what the outro is or if this is the last video. I have no idea. So it's just gonna roll. See you guys later.